The headlines, the Labour Party candidate in the 2024 governorship election in Edo State, Olumida Mata, he said Edo people should forget about tribe. They should vote for competency. All right, my wonderful people, before I go bring the matter, come give on a go like work up on especially to my wonderful channel, Reality Latest G's. I say they give on a back to back update and information. I say they hot. So if today now your first time to join our wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share. But don't forget to turn on the bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. To all amazing subscribers, thank you so much for joining us. To all our viewers out there, Thank you so much for joining us. So, my people, may we dive into the mentory. In the governorship election in Edo State, Olumide Abata, the Labour Party candidate, speaks on why he is in the race. Zoning women and children, promising a people-centric government, explain his plans to revolutionize agriculture in this state, among other policy trusts. As he says earlier, Olumide Abata used one beginning parable, which says that if there is only one worthy person in a family, then they are all poor. To illustrate and show why he wants to be governor, he said to him that his motivation is simply to see that more people are pulled out of poverty and that a lot of people are empowered in Edo State. So he wants to join the Labour Party because if he look at the logo, Mama Papa Pekin, people should be at the center of governance, that at the center of policy. But in Nigeria today, that they all can see that people have been removed from the equation and it is in their interest to take a keen interest in what is going on because they saw protests around the country a few days ago that we tell them that they are sitting on a keg of gunpowder just one match stick <laughs> this country will blow up so there is a need to improve the welfare of their people as it is now, Gary is almost 100,000 naira, a bag. But look at that brother said they have been saying all these things and it looks like a joke. That things are hard. That he lives in Nigeria and he feels all these things as well. That is why he's here. He has been a lawyer for 31 years and he has been president of the bar. The people of Edo State have to leave their comfort zone if they want to have a country. That they want to comfortably live in. That he don't want to run away. He don't want to jack back. <laughs> uh, that is why he is in politics today. So the first thing is that he will put the people at the center of governance. People are no longer at the center of governance and he has to restore that. Let me ask the people of Edo State that how would they know that a government is running properly? He said, one, he has to tell them that they have to check the programs and policies and see the one that has the greatest interest of the people through their policy execution. So. What he is going to do is different. That Edo today earns 17 billion a month. And the question is that what have they done with that? Because that money is supposed to be used for Edo people to provide a good life for them and make things easy for them through the program and policies. And also to look at them as the people they should focus on. But he wants to give them one example of what the Edo state government is doing today. <laughs> the state government pulled down a hospital to build a museum. Then he asks them, of what purpose is that action when there is the need for more health care facilities? So he will instead build more hospitals if it were to be him. As the governor, he will build more health facilities. As a governor, one must understand that it is not their money that they are spending. They are just a caretaker. So they are holding brief for the people. So the allocation of this money must consider what will benefit the greatest number of the people of Edo State. So Olumida Bata said, him personally will do what the people need and he will be transparent. He will be accountable. His government is not rocket science. Although some people will say, Olu, you have never been in government before, but he has been managing a large number of people and resources. So he have run a law firm with 120 people. He have run an association, the Nigeria Bar Association, with 128 branches all over the country. He run all of their programs and events at Nigeria Bar Association and he managed everything successfully and left 1.5 billion in the account of the association when he walked away. So he have successfully managed men and resources. One thing is that if the government are intent on providing good governance for the people, they will do it. It's all about desire and willpower. Olumida Bada said they have a great potential in agriculture in the state that hasn't impacted the people. 
One thing is that agriculture is long term, unlike oil, which once someone dig in his or her backyard, they will see the product and run along with it. So the thing is that the impact of agriculture in any economy cannot be overestimated. And if they understand this, they won't be playing lip service to the agriculture sector. So he is going to organize a revolution in that sector. And they can easily remember certain policies of the government like Operation Feed the Nation and the Green Revolution among others. It's just that they didn't sustain those programs. He gave an illustration. He said that you see what Chukuma Soludo, the governor of Anambra State, launched recently in Oka, the farm to feed program. And that is very commendable. So right now he's going to reignite a revolution in the agricultural sector. And how will they do that? Number one, he said that government must be the off taker of all agricultural produce. They will supplement farm implements. They will supplement pesticide. The government has money to do all those things and give them at highly subsidized price. So they will create farm settlement and establish program that will enhance the development of the sector through several interventions. They must be heavily involved. So they will establish storage facility and the farm settlement in each local government. In fact, they will establish as many farm settlements as they can. That will be the pilot project when he emerged as the governor of Edo State. Let me that what I was asked. How confident he is of victory at the poll, given recent attacks on him, coupled with the hooliganism in Nigeria. He said there is a popular adage that says only a three that has ripe fruit is attacked. That he has been on this matter for more than one year and it's not now that he will back out. That he's not going in anywhere. That they should ask themselves, when you go to Edo today and mention the forthcoming government super election, what name readily comes to the people's mind? So he have already positioned himself. He said for the attack, it has been there and it's meant to intimidate him, but that won't work as they are ready. <laughs> so there is no shaking that for ballot box snatching and ringing, he said that those people should know one thing, that to ring against a popular candidate is always very hard. To ring in a place where a candidate is very popular is also hard. So on the other hand, for a candidate to ring where he is not very popular will be very hard for him. Ringing itself is no longer possible, but violence is the issue. That he is happy that People Democratic Party will not want the All Progressive Congress to come and take over the state. They are in charge. And APC, as a ruling party, at the center, we want to take over Edo State. And at the end of the day, they will cancel themselves out. At the end of the day, they will stand down. And if the will of the people will prevail, that will be fine for him. When Olumida Bata was also asked that, they heard that he was from the same senatorial zone with the incumbent governor. That we did not hinder his chances of victory. He said on the issue of zoning, only that to say yes, the current governor is a Benin man like him. But they should understand that they don't plan zoning from one party to another. That PDP is where the current governor belongs to, and he is a Benin man. And he is in Labour Party. That they heard their primaries and they decide to open it up for everyone, irrespective of the senatorial zone. So their own policy and approach is different. When he came out for primary, they didn't restrict the ticket to any zone at all. There were many Isa men in that contest. And also, there were many Sako aspirants there. And the Labour Party said if eventually they win the governorship election, as they hopefully will, then they can reset their own clock for zoning. They cannot work in Leventis and collect a salary in another company. Every party has their own zoning. And how does that affect him with the generality of the people? The policy is about the number to him. And they must have the number to be able to go through. Ada Sushole said that he didn't run as governor on zoning. He ran as an Isako person and went to Bini and other areas. He convinced the people that he is better. He is among the best other candidates. So look at that brother say congratulations to them, but he is yet to see how that will work. That he is a Bini man and in the Labour Party. So his message to Edo people is that they should forget about tribe and go for competency. But when it comes to tribe, development or underdevelopment doesn't know tribe. Tribal sentiment has been the issue in Nigeria and those calling for this are all looking for their own people to be in power. So guys, let me know your thoughts towards this issue. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us.